So you're a grazier and you've heard about this thing called regen egg and you want to try it out, but you don't want to redo your whole farm and redo your practices and, and rack up a massive bill. Um, just trialing this thing out that might not actually work or the way you're doing it might not work for your situation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a very simple way of getting started in regen egg if you're a grazier. Um, super simple, super easy and uh, very low commitment. Real quick, my name is Till Simmons. I help growers go from conventional farming to regenerative farming using practices like this, increasing stocking density to meet carry capacity and all those range of things to help you produce more pasture. If you want to work with us to help implement stuff like this, I'll put a link to our website in the um, description below. Reach out and we'll get working. So what we want to start off by doing is, so say this is your farm, say um, you just continuously graze or you have a, um, a rotation grazing um, program, what I want you to do is I want you to just section off a little bit of a paddock. Now, it might be a hectare or whatever you want to section off. Um, we can all agree one hectare won't put you into bankruptcy, it's, it's, it's going to be fine. What I want you to do is fence that off with just, um, just a cheap uh, electric fencing, nothing super crazy. I want you to sock this tiny bit of uh, a paddock um, to a stocking density equal to your carry capacity. And so what I mean by that is, so say your lean does about one uh, large animal unit uh, per hectare, which means that across a whole year, your lean will, um, I guess, supply 365 uh, large animal unit days per hectare. What I want you to do is I want you to get, um, pretty much I want you to graze it for one day. And so if, if you have 365 um, large animals, I want you to put them all into that one paddock essentially. So we want to go super high density for a short period of time. Now, of course this might not work or whatever. See how it works, monitor that paddock really closely and um, what I want you to do is I want you to monitor your pasture very closely because essentially this is how pastures grow. They go very slowly, rapid growth, and then they plateau off. And so we want to be grazing between these two lines. We want to go from um, uh, this mature stage, this is called lignification, this, this side, this is where the grass starts to age and lignify, which is poor pasture. This is where we really start um, the, the vegetative stage after germination establishment. It goes into a really high vegetative stage and it's really grown. So what we want to do is we want to go from um, here in our pasture, graze it all the way back to there. So I want you to make sure that the pasture doesn't go below um, 1,500 uh, kilos of dry matter per hectare. Otherwise, if you, if you do that, you're going to be pushing your plants back into this stage where they're relying on um, uh, energy stores in the roots. We just want to get them to the point where they're relying on photosynthesis so that they can start collecting energy from the sun, using that energy and then growing from that. We don't want to push them into reserves from their roots. That is very important. So if you're doing this and you're at a high density rate, a high stocking rate, make sure, and, and this is your first time, make sure you sit there and watch and make sure that they don't push past this. If this is your first time, you don't want this to happen. Otherwise, you'll screw up this piece of land for a while. But if you do it right and, and you time it right, this here will grow back faster than anything else in your land. So perhaps um, put this block close to your house where you can just observe it. Come every hour, two hours, and just see how the cattle are going. See um, how much they've grazed down. And if they start approaching this number, just move them off. There's, there's no, um, I guess, um, problem with moving them on too soon. The problem starts happening if you leave them on too long. And so what this will do is all the cows or the cattle will come in and they'll graze it nice and um, 
evenly across the paddock because they're pretty much uh, competing with each other for the grass. So they're just going to put their heads down and start mowing the ground. And so you get a really nice even uh, graze on, on that hectare um, or, or area. And then over the um, next few weeks, the pasture should rebound really quickly. And this is, I guess this is the whole idea of um, holistic grazing um, or any of those kind of um, high density grazing principles. And pretty much you just want to uniformly graze everything so that you're not having stuff that's that's stuck up here and some stuff that's stuck down here because when you um, continuously graze, some plants which are more palatable and more delicious for the cow will be grazed down here while others will remain up here. And that's not good for your palatable plants that you want and it's not good because you're gonna be left with all this lignified pasture which is not good for the uh, cow's diet. Awesome, so in recap, divide off a, a small bit of your paddock, um, maybe not a hectare, maybe a bit smaller, but same idea, you want to figure out what is your uh, carry capacity of your land. You can use the uh, MLA site to, to work that out. Um, work out the number of days, grazing days, and just stock your paddock, um, and then move them out once your pasture is just, be, uh, just before this critical point. And then just move them out and make sure to fence this off and make sure the cows don't return back to that because if they come back um, then they might be pushing your pasture backwards. Awesome, well let me know how this goes. Um, it, like I mean if we do it wrong it might not work, it might work, you'll definitely learn something for sure. Um, be cautious with this and really just observe the cows while they're grazing. Let me know how it goes. Um, put a comment down below what you think, uh, how this how this would go on your farm. Um, I mean, I don't know your situation, so you might have to change the numbers around a bit. Otherwise, good luck and thanks for watching.